Hi you all, Dota Reactions here, and today I'm going to react to some more Once Upon a Time. This is Season 5, Episode 6. So let's get into it. Charming? It's okay. Mary Margaret and I are no longer under Arthur's control. How did you break his thrall over you? I didn't, mate. I did. Merlin. What about me now? You're here to free me too. Merida? How did you end up in there? Long story. After what your daughter did to me, letting me out is the least you can do. Yeah. I was about to ask, is this kind of, like a Merida centered episode? We found Merlin back in Camelot? No, Camelot I think it is. Last night when she tried to visit Henry. If we found that saucer, why the bloody hell didn't he destroy the darkness in Emma? How does this thing work? Do we simply speak to it? It's not that easy. Of not just anyone not. can summon Merlin. He'll only appear to someone who's been chosen by him. Arthur. Why are we wasting our time with Merlin when there's someone here who can help us? Who? Rumpel. If he hadn't brought the darkness back to Storybrooke, we wouldn't even be standing here right now. Rumpel may be to blame for the situation we're in, but so is Emma. She was seduced by the darkness just like he was. So how does that make Rumpel any different? Sorry, love. Crocodile had more chances than anyone. The reason why Emma took the power to or the magic of the Dark One was in order to save Regina. Well, maybe you're willing to. And everyone else. I'm not. She was like, I t uh, I'll take it before it consumes some somebody else. So I don't see the logic in this. You can get it back eventually, so... Here, what? Nothing. I just... needed your friends to get out of sight. What? Why? So they don't see this. You confirmed the one thing I needed to know. Bell's still someone he's willing to fight for. Well, it didn't exactly make him a hero, now, did it? It will. Now go find her. Put an arrow through her heart. The heck! <laughs> no, I After what I saw in the last episode, I'm like, yeah. You needed magic, you could have just asked. What, risk to getting a no? Sorry, but I'm more of a hit first, ask questions later kind of lass. Is that why the clans kidnapped your brothers? Hardly. Kidnapped my brothers as ransom. I'll only free them if I relinquish the throne. And you don't plan on doing that. Would you give up everything you have ever dreamed of just because a man said you didn't deserve it? Don't hurt me, don't hurt me, please! <laughs> it's okay. It, it's just me. It's already so it's different. Okay like them, seeing them together, but him being just a regular human being. Just like her. But then that, that doesn't make sense. She kidnapped you. Not to turn me into a hero. So I could probably scallop her from this town. Also, how does letting you escape do that? She's coming after you. Me? Why? To force me to protect you. He knows how this works. She thinks that'll make me the hero she needs. Do you know where that is? I do. Southern Moor. Macintosh, MacGuffin and Dingwall. Were the ones who wanted to marry you? Now you understand why I want to rule on my own. There's only one way to save my brothers now. I need to change the fate. And I need you to do it for me. The only thing this little one seems to want at the moment is a plate of onion rings. I'm under strict orders from the mayor to only feed you local, organically grown plants. It's so green. Isn't my sister sweet? Go! <laughs> Trust me, if anyone knows what it's like to be pregnant behind bars, it's me. The dark <laughs> swan. Afraid I'm not in the mood. Yeah, I was about to say, who cares? I love onion rings so much. Eat up. Maybe I should order some later. Despite these greasy treats, I know this isn't a social call. If all goes according to plan, I'll need your help. <gasps> How exciting! I can't wait to hear what you're offering in return. Your freedom. You will need an ally in this town. Maybe not now, but soon. I'll be back to take my deal. I don't think so, Emma. You see, the difference between you and me is I don't mind being alone. But you do mind getting your baby taken away from you because that's exactly what's going to happen, I believe. I, I hope, because a woman like you shouldn't have a baby, to be honest. We should go now. You told me why you have that limp before. 
Because you walked for days on a broken foot just so you could return to your son. Do you know how the foot was broken in the first place? Because, because you broke it. So that Balefire wouldn't grow up without a Okay, I really uncle. thought she didn't know. You may have made many mistakes in your life, but this isn't one of them. No. I love the music. Uh, where did you learn to do that? I bet she did that in the movie. Nice portion done. But it'll turn you into a, a bear. No, it changes fate is what it does. The spell of my dude. Yeah, sure. I told the dark one you wouldn't be daft enough to seek shelter in your own shop. But she said you wouldn't be able to resist the pull of your magic. Meredith, you, you don't have to do this. No, I tried to fight it, but I couldn't. As soon as Arthur adds a crimson crown to the cauldron, he should be able to make contact with Merlin. Then we'll be speaking with him before you know. Come on, let's leave him to it. Regina is sus. Did it work? Afraid not. Be the hero we all need. I can't. I can't. Yeah, Belle is about, is is like. I think she can oh, protect like herself. She doesn't need a hero to protect her. I took a breath, steady my hand, and let the arrow fly. I missed. My father is dead because of me. It's not your fault. What do you know of it? Now, can I have the potion or not? Where are we going? The only place we'll be safe from Emma and our quivered friend. Oh. You're taking us out of story, bro. Mm. This anti-transformation powder. This will keep us safe from any ill effects from crossing the town line. No, no, we can't leave. Not while there are still people we care about in this town. I didn't cripple myself to get back to my son. I did it because I was scared. Grandpa. I joined the army to prove I wasn't a coward. But when I seen the wounded coming back from the front lines, I didn't want to die. I don't think he's leaving. I really don't think so. You should have followed your wee sweetheart over the town line. <laughs> The bear potion. Did you mix it right? Yes. But I, I switched the potion with water. <gasps> what gave me oh. Where's the real potion? What the hell? You defeat the clans with magic. The people still won't follow you. That's kind of embarrassing for her. You if you wanted to teach me a lesson, you should have done it before we were surrounded. Yeah, that's <laughs> fear, unless you have a choice. The only way but you Belle, you're risking the, the lives of her brothers. That's not your choice to make. After like everything my father did. I mean. It's Disney, so... You saw what I can do with an arrow. Do you really want to see what I can do with a sword? Now let them go! I think that would have convinced me too. Jeez, they really need hairdressers in their land. Like, ooh, that's hard. No, Bell. I'm not running this time. Why would she kill him? If she killed him, Emma wouldn't have her... Wouldn't have a hero to pull out. Excalibur. They're just lucky that magic is always so convenient. Ah, oh, she hasn't recognized him yet. I mean, it's been a while, so... You were the usher. Asher, yeah, yeah, that was it. How is that possible? You were still stuck in the tree back then. It doesn't matter how I got my message to you. What's important is, do you remember what I said? You uh, said okay, she's right, but about okay. Excalibur. You would have the opportunity to remove Excalibur from its stone. I pull Excalibur in exchange for Meredith's heart. Oh, my brothers, I want to know what happened to them. You really think you're in a position to make deals? Well, that's exactly what I think. <gasps> I was finished with this anyway. And their brothers? They're fine, safe and sound by her mother's side. Now get on with it! Wait. What happens if he can't pull it from the stone? 
Then you will be sweeping his remains from the floor. You were his maid once. Val. Uh, well, I must like. Oh no! Here we go. Work. I want you to know that I am sorry for everything. You've made one mistake in all of this. One terrible mistake. You've turned me into a hero. There are heroes all over this town, and none of them have been able to stop me yet. And that's because none of them are me. The I wouldn't be right. that intimidated by him. Did he? Further through in the fire, he sabotaged his spell. But why wouldn't he want us to contact Merlin? <sighs> we need to talk to Merlin now more than ever. There is one other person in Storybrooke who was chosen by Merlin. The author. So in both Pushing worlds we know, in both timelines we know that Arthur is a dick. No. But Emma, okay. you if you're receiving this message, then things are worse than the feared. I don't believe this. This message. Are Merlin's voice, Val? <laughs> there is only one person who can help you defeat the Dark One now. Her name is Nimmerway. The Dark One's found me already. And that was helpful. What the hell did Emma do to him? Yeah, that was Once Upon a Time, Season 5, Episode 6, and it's titled... The episode is titled The Beer and the Bow. Okay. Merida-centered episode. Liked it. Because I like her character. She's... She's interesting, I think. Emma commanded her to kill Belle. And still, I'm a little bit confused about Darks, the Dark Swan, because in the last episode, she ripped Violet's heart out. But she seemed to be very sad about that. <laughs> like she, I, I think she felt sorry for that because she was watching at the Dreamcatcher that contained Violet's memories, I guess, I think. And she cried. So she, at least she, I think she felt guilty. But now she was just like, yeah, kill Belle. Yeah, that's why I, I, I still don't know what to think about her. Her actions and her reactions and everything it's it, it's it's confusing me a little bit yeah and rumple being the one to pull excalibur out of the stone after he after he sell, uh, saved bell i would be like okay you did one good thing but i don't think that's enough for you to become to, to become a hero but then again i think um i think they said that he was like a Blank slate, I think that's what what it's called. So neither good or evil, and then he did this one good thing, which made him a hundred percent good because he hadn't or he hadn't done anything bad at this point, just something good. So he's a hundred percent good, and therefore the greatest hero now in in town. Because Snow and David definitely did something wrong in their lives. So I guess they're just like 99% good and 1% evil. But I, I, I don't know how, how this works. But I maybe that makes sense. But it doesn't make sense that Emma is supposed to be like um, afraid of him or imitated by him. Because I, I don't know what he's going to do. Even though he's a hero now, how is he supposed to be a, a threat for Emma like I don't see that <laughs> maybe he should just leave town with Belle be happy and everything because I don't think he can and he can do much in this situation so and by the way his um his confession about him about hurting himself like his leg I'm not exactly sure I mean no I'm not sure if that's true but then again Rumpel isn't really a liar he's just talking around things sometimes he's playing with with terms and, but he i don't think he's that much of a liar in general so i kind of believe that's true what he said that he was just afraid of war but then again i'm like who wouldn't be war is like being in this situation i think is one of the most terrifying experiences you can make in your life so i'm like yeah if you decide to hurt yourself in order to not being dragged into this kind of situation then i'm like it 
it's maybe it's not heroic, but it's hu it's it's human. I still I don't think that's cowardice, to be honest. Like I don't see that. I think he just needed something to clarify once again that he's just a coward because he's he's always stating he's a coward he's like i'm a coward i'm a coward so he tries to make himself believe that there is no chance for him to become a hero he's just trying to convince himself i hope to see more of him like being a little bit more brave i, I don't need him to be 100 percent like the like the biggest hero ever but a, a, just a little bit like okay and now everyone knows that arthur is a dick I mean, in every world, in every timeline, that's good. Because, I was, like I said, I was kind of confused. I was like, uh, do they know that he's an asshole? No, they don't. But now they do. That's good. Um, yeah, so apparently Emma just killed him. I kind of think that he's... Yeah, I think he's dead. Like, we haven't seen him in Storybrooke. And I think that's just... That's an indicator of him not being alive anymore. He's a, an interesting Merlin. I said that in the last episode. I like him as Merlin. Like he's not hes not that old. Not very, very... I guess he's old, but he doesn't look like it. That's good. I like it. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope to see you in the next episode. And until then, goodbye, guys.